Two Hollywood heartthrobs just landed big roles and Shawn Mendes gets real about posting on social media. What's up guys, it's Dahlia, let's jump into the top stories of the week. Okay, so story number one, the thumbnail story. Sean Mendez revealed why he doesn't post a whole lot on social media. So over Twitter, Sean said, I've been struggling with it and the last thing I wanna do is post something because I feel like I have to instead of want to, you know? Plus, I guess if I'm being honest, I don't post a lot because I worry it's not good enough, whatever that truly means. And that's pretty stupid. No, that's not stupid, that's real. Social media can sometimes create these unrealistic expectations of how we're supposed to look or what kind of things we're supposed to be posting. And it's it's really cool that Sean's talking about this because like you'd think he'd be the most confident person. I mean, I've seen your photos, Sean. The lesson here is yeah, post what makes you feel good, but also it's okay to step away from social media if it's not making you feel the greatest. Believe it or not, spending time with real people can be the best thing for you. And I say that as the person talking out of your phone or computer screen, but you know what I mean. Okay, story number two is about Noah Centineo because it wouldn't be an episode of Pop and Culture if we didn't talk about him. So Noah is gonna be in a Charlie's Angels reboot and it's gonna be directed by Elizabeth Banks. So already we all wanna go see it. And Noah's gonna be playing a love interest of one of the angels. So no, he's not gonna be an angel, unfortunately. <laughs> that would be amazing. So remember a few weeks ago we reported that Noah really wanted to be part of a romantic comedy action film after reading the script? It sounds like this is it and it sounds like he made it happen. I mean, he's Peter Kavinsky, so he can really make anything happen if he wants to. The movie's gonna hit theaters in September 2019 and I just have one request. Can Destiny's Child reunite to make another song for this movie? Please, seriously. Please. In other movie news, this brings us to story number three. So Ansel Elgort will be starring in Steven Spielberg's adaptation of West Side Story, which is like a pretty big deal. I don't even have to explain why. It's West Side Story, Steven Spielberg, that's amazing. He's gonna be playing Tony, one of the lead roles, and he's perfect for the role, right? Cause he can sing, he can dance, he's already played the role as a boyfriend who dies at the end of the movie, so we know this is gonna be great. Was that joke too much? <laughs> that is not a spoiler alert. You know why? Cause West Side Story is based off of Romeo and Juliet. And if you don't know the Romeo and Juliet story then I'm sorry. The least of your worries is thinking that I just gave you a spoiler. Okay, let's go to story number four. So Zayn Malik was spotted in New York heading to a studio, which means new music, duh. Since Zayn's gone solo in 2015, he's only put out one album, Mind of Mine. So we're all like, okay, Zayn, we need more of your high notes in our lives and that perfectly symmetrical face. I need more of that in my life too. Okay, that's everything for today, but please let me know in the comments, what do you do that helps make you feel better when you're feeling really overwhelmed by social media? I have a feeling you guys have some really great advice, so I can't wait to see it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.